Hello there my fellow Hollow Table Heroes and welcome to another Rise of the Empire Territory Battle video guide. So I finally unlocked uh, Dr. Afra two weeks ago and just about a week ago I was able to get her to Relic 7 just for the start of the latest Territory Battles. So I was able to throw her in here on Corellia mission in the mix zone in Sector 1 and as well Sector 3 on Dathomir I believe, the dark side. So that's what I'll show you. Uh, in this video just what teams I used uh, with her and how the battle went. So let's kick off first with Corellia and Sector 1. Uh, so I'm using Afra here just showing you the mods. I didn't remod for these uh, missions. There's just kind of random mods I have on these guys. Nothing too crazy. So there's definitely room for improvement. Uh, obviously I used BT here and Trip and then Darth Vader. And then just put in IG I guess in there. He's a dark side droid. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the best lineup is but I thought to give it a go with this one and it worked okay in the end uh, to be honest it's a BT uh, as well as Afra that are carrying this battle anyway it seems let's first wreck their cooldowns a bit and then let's bring our helper here summon the droid they get a few hits in let's go ahead and get an assist get TIE fighter pilot down unfortunately no critical hits there ho ho hey we did crit though oh boy that was fun uh, let's just do some of that. Again, this is the first time I'm actually using Dr. Afra uh, to do anything because normally for that last week of free free Grand Arena, I just put her on defense. Um, so I still don't know exactly all of her abilities. I'm just kind of working out how what's happening here. But so far, so good here in wave, wave 1. We're doing good progress here. Everybody's decent health and protection, I guess. There we go. Just went down to Stormtrooper and we'll head into the next wave and see what's waiting for us over there now we go all right so we've got a um, uh, imperial officer now these guys are a little bit more durable here now in second wave they got this bonus protection up as you can see also a whole lot of tenacity i believe like in first wave vader was able to land some damage over times here just a couple i'm just uh kind of trying to take imperial officer out first i think he's got like an aoe or something that does quite some decent damage oh yeah there we go Anyway, I'll just keep going at him, see if we can get him down before he gets to do more damage to my guys. Basic over there, nice big hits there from BT. Okay, let's go ahead, wreck their cooldowns again. Perfect, get some doubt spreading. Although, they are resisting quite a lot, but I was able to get a couple of them down. Lost their IG, let's go ahead, bring him back as well as resummon our commando droid there we go i think we're good now let's uh take care of the, the officer there with a the calling blade to give us another turn then we can go into merciless do a force crush a uh, couple of basics uh, again they're resisting quite a lot their tenacity is quite high so there's definitely a little bit of a uh tight moment there in beginning but you know as soon as i'm able to get uh someplace going took care of the officer it seemed pretty okay so let me know guys did i misplay something is the first time i'm doing this but on that it was straightforward okay let's head over to dathomir now so that's in sector 3 the dark side uh now as you see my droids there are all kind of a relic 5 uh so what i kind of used here uh, was kind of leftovers uh, I, I used wampa uh, hopefully for some damage actually i didn't have mod all the mods here on them Zem is a bit of a random one, but again, I didn't have a whole lot left. Uh, I know that uh, some like to think his General Grievous draw, draw is there, but you know, my separatists, apart from the deck, are not Relic 7, and I use General Grievous in another team with Supreme Lakar Ran. I use Darth Vader with the Empire team, so I'm really limited what I have here at Relic 7. So I decided to try this out. So the idea was here to put Weapon Tech over on one pass, so whenever he defeats, uh, one of the uh, enemies they can't be revived so that's how we can get away uh, hopefully uh, with a win here let's go ahead bring our uh, droid to the play uh, wreck their cooldowns maybe spread some doubt there we go lost already Afra but it's okay we'll bring her back now Drodek is actually quite good here because he gains this damage immunity uh, and here in wave one uh, there is no way that they can dispel the damage immunity from him so in most likelihood he will stay alive and obviously these sisters are taking a lot of turns, so hopefully he can wreck one of those night sisters whenever he gets a turn. But I'm Wampa doing what Wampa does. Uh, I know they're a zombie revived there, but I'm just trying to wreck zombie because if you actually defeat her properly, uh, here she's not coming back. So it looks like her ability there um, is not maxed out. So if you get to defeat her uh, once she's got like four of those her debuffs on two of those debuffs on her. 
um, for that, you know, give her negative speed. So there you go, she's got one debuff. So if I defeat her one more time, she'll get a second stack. And then next time when she's gone down, no matter who defeats her, she's not coming back. So there's going to be one Ice Sisters less. So I'm just trying to get her down. Perfect. And then the rest of the way, I'm trying uh, for the Wampa. There we go, getting some counterattacks. That he's the one defeating the Night Sisters, so they're not coming back. I just thought to maybe save the AoE there from Wampa for the next wave, so we immediately get some bonus protection on him, and he just kind of uh, try to finish these guys off with a basic. And there we go, definitely their weapon tech over on Wampa really helping out. He's getting lots of turns and obviously doing some nice big damage for me. All right, and the other tech, I don't know, probably doesn't even matter um, how you spread it because they just keep dying off and losing tech anyways. Um, there we go. Wampa doing what Wampa does. Perfect. Let's go ahead and roar. Try to stack some damage. And same stretch as before. We try here uh, and take zombie out first. Again, they don't have any dispels like from Night Sisters. Only Asajj has dispel and there's no Asajj on here. So again, once Jorika get goes into the whole uh, damage immunity, they won't really be able to touch him at all. Wampa's got a lot of bonus protection. There you go. Ramping up some nice big damage already. Uh, I'm just going to do that. I'm not sure what he does because only got summoned droid there from the operations ability actually. So I'm not sure is that exactly same uh, droid that uh, Afra would as well summon or not. It definitely looks like from the abilities point of view. So I guess it doesn't matter how you get the droid up and running. Okay, we go. Same strategy as before. Trying to get uh, Daka with a timely heal. Trying to defeat Zombie there twice. Uh, so she doesn't come back. There we go. She's got now two stacks of those. Her debuffs on her. Uh, so as soon as we defeat her, she's not coming back. So one Night Sister less to worry about. You don't have to deal with constant taunting from Zombie. Uh, and then we can go around and finish off the other guys. Hopefully with the help of uh, Wampa and his weapon tech. There we go. All right, perfect. So zombie's not coming back. Well, I guess unless Daka revives her, but not sure did one but finish her off. I don't know. Anyways, I don't need to worry about zombie looks like anymore. So we're just going to go after Daka next, uh, obviously, to uh, finish her so she doesn't revive somebody. Although weapon tech prevents revives anyway, right? But just in case, uh, obviously, Daka is there a little bit annoying with that uh, basic of hers. Um, that actually, you know, can stun two targets. She can keep healing everybody up. As you can see, Wampa really ramped up by now. Um, so should be quickly now. Just one more hit, I think, with Wampa. Oh, one more. There we go. And that's how I completed here uh, on Relic 7. Kind of Afra, Drulika, Wampa. And I was there a lot. Zem didn't di really do a whole lot. But hey, at least uh, I get to use her for something. And there you go guys, that's all what I wanted to share with you in today's video, just showing you my first two attempts with Dr. Afra, both in Sector 1 and in Sector 3. Uh, it seems like actually Sector 7 here was easier, just all thanks to Wampa with the weapon tech, obviously gaining bonus turn meter, smashing AoE, getting bonus protection and then obviously preventing revives whenever Wampa defeats somebody. So definitely I'm gonna try these two teams again next time and hopefully I get the same success. But until then guys, thank you for watching, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you my friends.